G'day everyone, welcome back to Paul's Aquaponics. Obviously I'm Paul. Um, one thing about these tote ponics that's always bugged me is that there's a lot of cutting, grinding, um, painting of paint of uh, painting of cut areas, etc., to stop any rust, and there's always leftovers. This is the most recent one that I've done, and this is what is left over. Well, that's what was left over. I've since used both of the um, information boards on the side, but there was always these little bits and pieces here that are cut off to facilitate to facilitate my being able to do this. And I thought, now that's a, that's a very good idea, but you could still do the same thing with Ziplocs. And it got me to think, well, how is it that we have to cut? Why is it that we have to cut? Is there a way of creating an IBC system without all of the um, angle grinder cutting or steel cutting, I suppose, what I'm trying to get at? It's a lot easier for people to cut plastic than what it is for them to cut steel. So I got to thinking, what if you didn't cut the cage at all? Unlike here, this one is a hybrid sort of between that one where I've cut everything in half to be able to get my 30 centimeters of grow height, which is an absolute minimum. I think you'd be probably better by having 40 to 45, which takes you from one rung to the second rung, which in fact is still here. And so to be able to rest that on top of this, or this, you actually have to cut pieces of wood like that. See that there? You've got to drill a at least a 15 mil hole and line them up to get them in the right spot. And it's a lot of mucking around. Then you've got to try and get the joins correct, they're obviously not, neither is that. Then when it sits on there, you've got to make sure that this sits on there nice and smoothly. And I'm thinking, geez, that's an awful lot of hard work. Then you've got to cover over the top section here, otherwise you end up with these sharp edges. And I thought, well, why not just cut it off at the next bar, like this one? Instead of it being like that, with that piece still there, why not cut that off right there and leave it up there? Right, in this case I've gone along with a, um, a round cold chisel and opened them up so that I can utilize that idea. Right, but if they weren't opened up like that, they would look like that, but up here. So I thought, well, why not, instead of chopping it off there and then chopping off the tops there, which is what I did here, why not just not cut the cage at all? So anyway, this afternoon, I'm going to try and cut that IBC, and we'll just see how it can be done. Back shortly. <laughs> 